Welcome to Le Mans for the third round of the 2019 Michelin Le Mans Cup. But it's far more than just that. This is the big event, the road to Le Mans, the must race for all of our gentlemen drivers. We have a mega grid of 50 cars here, so let's take a look. As a curtain raiser to the 24 hours, Road to Le Mans adopts a very different format from the other Michelin Le Mans Cup events. There are two 55 minute races instead of a single two hour encounter. There's a mandatory stop for driver changes of two minutes between the 22nd and 32nd minutes of the race, but no refueling is allowed and the minimum time per driver is 20 minutes. Instead of 25 points for a win, there are 15 points, with second place earning nine, third place seven, and so on. Heading the points table is Lannan Racing. They have had a perfect start to the season so far, with two wins from two starts. The first at Paul Ricard Le Castellet, and the second at Monza. Last year's champions, number three DKR Engineering lies second, Nielsen Racing third in the standings. The key will be to make sure we finish both races and, and obviously gain as many points as possible. It's an amazing place, mythic as was the phrase some years ago. It's fabulous to be back, I'm hoping for another good weekend and enjoy the event that we're, we're participating in. In GT3, the championship leaders are Kessel Racing, just three points ahead of newcomers Lusic. They may be the reigning champions, but Kessel duo Jacobo Puccini and Sergio Pianazzola didn't win either of the Road to Le Mans races last season. This circuit is really magic. More contenders, more fight, more fun. We will try for sure to do our best. Thank you to the Michelin Le Mans Cup that we won last year. We had this entry for the 24 hours. Another great dream uh, becoming true. Le Mans Cup is a fantastic championship. It's like uh, more or less a big family. We have a race direction that is taking care about us uh, anytime in a very professional way. It's very nice to wear uh, the racing wear for, uh, for a weekend in this very fantastic championship. For several of our 2019 Michelin Le Mans Cup drivers, the Road to Le Mans encounters will be their very first time on the 13.6 kilometer circuit. I'm very excited because it's a special track, a special history. I love special the, the first two corners. What I don't like so much is the, the Porsche. It's hard to do and to find the exact line, but it's a nice experience and I try to do the best. It's exciting for me. It was one of the reasons that I chose to do Road to Le Mans this year for this race. It's a very long track. It's a lot to learn. A lot of sun in your eyes on the, the back straight coming into Porsche curves, but, but a good track. You hope to get through the first couple of corners uh, and get into the race and to have fun out there. So if I have my time on the track and drive reasonably well, I'll be happy. It's something absolutely amazing. I really never dreamed that, that I'd be able to race here. And it's just as impressive as the drivers say. Feeling is amazing. The corners, the atmosphere, just stunning. Road to Le Mans has also tempted in drivers who don't take part in the entire Michelin Le Mans Cup. Some of them have a famous surname, some have success under their belt from Asian Le Mans series, and some in Frederick Sose's team are even disabled. Exciting, obviously a little bit nervous. No, I've not driven this track before, so I mean, I'm just taking it to, as, as a learning experience, really. In the future, 
um, to race in, race in the 24 hour with a bit of luck. So I've been, did a little bit of work on the simulation, been watching lots of onboard footage, but I think that's about all I can do. Everyone dreams of driving at Le Mans. Having done two seasons at Asia Le Mans, we decided that it's probably time to do at least the road to Le Mans first. It's been an exciting trip. I think more important ones will be the slow corners that, to make sure that the entry speed is good and exit speed is, uh, is there. I've loved this race since I was a kid. I dream of the 24 hours of Le Mans, so to be here is amazing. It's a 100% disabled crew. Frederick Sose did the 24 hours of Le Mans in 2016, the only disabled driver to do so. And here we've got three disabled drivers in the same car. To be in Road to Le Mans is a step towards our dream, the 24 hours of Le Mans itself. Thursday afternoon at Le Mans, race one, 49 cars on the grid, 32 LMPs and 17 GT3s. They're led by the number three Norma of DKR Engineering, the orange and black car, the pole sitter. That's Francois Kierman, Lawrence Hurst set the time. The red and white Lana racing car drops back immediately into third place. And as they charge up to the first corner, Jan Elache with the yellow highlights for M Racing into second place and then through into the lead. Can he hang on to it? Has he outbraked himself? Under the Dunlop Bridge, it's DKR back in front. Francois Kierman has made the repass. Right in the middle of the shot, the white and blue Beach Dean AMR Aston Martin, the GT3 pole sitter, more jockeying for position. Sweeping through Terre Rouge and out onto the Mulsanne straight for the first time. A 55 minute race. Battle for fifth place, riding on board with Adrian Schieler for Graf. Tony Wells in front for Nielsen in the number two car. Down the inside into the first chicane. The Graf car moves up. Jan Elache taking the lead out on the back of the circuit from Francois Kierman and Michael Benham. And before long, Kierman is in the pits. And it looks like a puncture on the number three DKR engineering car. That is a cruel blow. Matt Bell now up to second for United Autosports. Third place, the number 18 Nielsen car, James Littlejohn. He started eighth and he's ahead of the red and white Lannan racing car of Michael Benham. On board in the Ferrari with Lusic Racing's Fabien Laverne. They've had such a great start to their debut season. He's in second place, right behind the Ferrari, the SPS Automotive Performance Mercedes. Still the Beach Dean AMR Aston Martin that leads. Graf car pulling away in fourth place, but trouble from the system machine behind. That's Adrian Twier in the number nine Graf Racing entry. And he has scattered debris everywhere. Safety car is out. Safety car is out on its own because every single car in the field is on pit road. There is the AMR Aston. There's the number 11 machine just in front of it. And look how they're jam packed in. Now watch this, that's Duncan Tappy, the Lannan racing car, just clips the car in front as he rejoins. And that's the United Auto Sports machine. Restarting with Lauren Millara for M Racing, the leader, released from behind the safety car. Duncan Tappy in second place. The red and white car, Lannan racing, moves up inside James Maguire. He's taken over the 22 United Auto Sports car. There is Ivar Muller, boss of M Racing. Lauren Millara is struggling down the inside. Duncan Tappy takes the lead at Terre de Rouge. Pro driver Jan Elache started for M Racing. And the AM driver, Lauren Millara, is now struggling against everybody else's pros. Up the inside, Nicolas Schatz. He goes into second at Indianapolis. That's a big move. 
Milara slipping down the order. Third place under attack now. Marco Cinchetti for DKR in their number five machine. He goes through. That's a podium spot. Takes a while to get through on the inside of Dunlop Curve, but now he is in front. All drama. That is the spirit of the race. Ferrari got turned around. Damage from behind. GT3 leader Lusitz Racing, Mikkel Mack. And there is the Aston in second place. LMP3 cars barely any quicker. They really struggle to get by. Trouble for Duncan Tappy. Race leader has a drive-through penalty for unsafe release. And that's going to hand the advantage to Nicolas Schatz of Graf Racing. A French team could win here. The first race at Le Mans for the road to Le Mans. Nicolas Schatz charging away with a four-second advantage. Checkered flag awaits. He punches the air with delight. He wins the first instalment of Road to Le Mans. Teammate Adrian Schiele looks delighted, as do the Graf Racing squad. Mikkel Mack and Fabio Neveren win GT3 with the Lusic Racing Ferrari. Landon Racing in fourth off the podium. Nielsen third, second for DKR's number five. And victory for the 39 Graf car for the first time this year in GT3. It was Lutzitz Racing ahead of SPS Automotive Performance. Spirit to Race completing the podium. A third podium of the season for the Nielsen number two, second for the number five from DKR, but the first win of the season for the number 39 Graf Duo. So please, says Nicolas Schatz, 13 kilometers so spectacular on this track. We're prepared, the team works hard, and finally we're getting it done on this legendary track. Just amazing. Victory in GC3 went to Fabian Laverne, Mikkel Mack and Lusic Racing ahead of the SPS Automotive, Mercedes Duo and Spirit of Race. It's amazing to win in Le Mans. For me, it's a dream come true. And uh, yeah, I think I, I made a good start and Nickel did amazing in the end. So yeah, so happy. I think I'm going to remember this one for a long time, for sure. Race two, three and a half hours before the 24 hours of Le Mans. Saturday morning, Michael Benham on pole, the 25 Lannan car from Francois Kierman in the number three DKR machine. Away we go, sweeping up in front of the mass grandstands, up to the first chicane. Michael Benham with the inside line. Oh, and off is somebody, it's Freddie Hunt. The son of James Hunt, the 76 world champion, somehow straight across the gravel and the track avoids everybody. Spinner there, Nicolas Mela started in fifth place. Number five, DKR car leads from Lannan. Number three car down the inside, past Michael Benham. Oh, and contact with his teammates as well. Francois Kierman goes through into the lead, but he's hit both cars going by. Benham up to second. Mariotti in trouble. Oh, and he makes contact with the GT3 pole sitter as well. Looks like the Kessel Racing Ferrari of Sergio Pianatola just held on. Lusic Racing's Ferrari right behind him. Francois Kidman pulling away from Michael Benham. And up into third place, the number 30 car of Kevin Bourg Besançon. It's two by two behind the two Ferraris and DKR and Graf's car. That's Nat Ambiel, the 72 Graf car. Now, who's going to win down the braking here? Lead three go through. Oh, deep in under braking, number five car makes a mistake. The Graf Racing entry just about stays on track. Let's take a look at this. Freddie Hunt got knocked off by the number five car. And how did he hit nothing? That's unbelievable good luck for everybody concerned. 
Battle for fifth, Marcello Maratiotto second in race one, through comes Ajahn Sheila, winner of race one in the 39 Graf car, he moves up the order. Three wide behind and then the two Ferraris, the red and white car, Fabian Laverne behind Sergio Pianazzola, the pole position man for Kessel Racing. Down to the first chicane, Maratiotto defending still, he's losing ground after all the contact, contact again. In replay, Nicola Mella in trouble again, the number 11 racing experience car that spun at the first corner. Francois Kim and still leads, red, white and blue, Michael Benham in second, but here down the inside comes the number 30 CD Sport car, Kevin Bol Bessanson, he's got the inside line at Montsant corner and just takes second position. Leader not pulling away, red, white and blue behind, 39 race one winner, Adrian Schiele. He is leading the peloton, but the breakaway is a three-strong cue. Maratiotto, DKR, he's out with a puncture. Francois Kim and under pressure from Kevin Bobesanson. Mistake at Dunlop Curve, just about keeps it on the island. But the CD Sport car has got to run. He's got the inside line down through the S's, our third leader of the race. And the pole man, Michael Benham, remains in touch. But in third, off goes the three car. Off goes 25. They both hit the barriers. Benham comes back on. And unbelievably, they both seem to be OK. Well, what an opportunity for Kevin Bol Besançon. He has cleared off side by side. Michael Benham, 25, the red and white Lannan car. And alongside him, Francois Kierman, the black and orange number three DKR machine. Slow zone between the two chicanes. Look at this. Unbelievable. Running across the grass. Benham hit the barriers as well. He's lost part of the left rear behind the wheel. But other than that, they seem to be okay. Replay here of Freddie Hunt for RLR M Sport. The son of James Hunt goes through. Takes fourth place from Adrian Sheila. Damage for the Villorba Corsa Mercedes. Pit stop window is open. Spirit of Race Ferrari, Christoph Ulrich out, Maurizio Mediani in. Ulrich racing Rose Le Mans for the second time. First saw Le Mans as a fan just three years before. Michael Benham into the pits ahead of Francois Kierman. This is second and third. Kevin Ball, Bessonson, the leader now from Freddie Hunt. Driver change for 39 as well. Nicolas Schatz, the race one winners doing their driver change. Francois Kierman hands over to Lawrence Hoor. He's been super quick in this car. Different drivers at DKR's number three machine than the ones that won the championship last year, but the team and the machine are just as quick, it seems. Off goes the number three car, off goes the number 25. Lannan racing ahead as they pull out onto the racetrack. Into the pits comes Kevin Ball Besançon in the CD Sport number 30 car. Freddie Hunt in second. And first among the stoppers is Duncan Tappy. In comes the race leader then. And Jacques Wolf will take over from Kevin Ball Besançon. Leaders after the first stint. Away goes the CD Sport car. So Jack Wolf will retain the race lead. Looked like a nice clean stop and it needed to be. DKR were very quick. So too land and racing. Don't forget two minute minimum pit stop time from pit in to pit out, including the driver change. No fuel or tires required. So CD Sport lead here on Saturday morning at Le Mans. The second road to Le Mans race. What will the chasers do? Battle for second place, Duncan Tappy for Lannan Racing. Right behind him is the number three car. And with that damage on the number 25, he's a little bit powerless to resist around the outside. Lawrence Hoare, that is an absolutely huge overtake at Indianapolis. No wonder they are thrilled with that at DKR. Race leader still Jacques Wolf, but he is not going as quickly as the cars who are catching him out. He's picked up a bit of debris. Now that's gone, you just saw it flick by the number three car, but the number three car flicks by the number 30. Straight by, without even sizing up the pass. Great stuff from Lawrence Hoare. Onto the Mulsanne they come. Can Duncan Tappy close in the red and white Lannan racing car? He's in third. Leaders slipstreaming down the straight. 
Lawrence Hall started to pull away from Jacques Wolf. Duncan Tappy in third. Tappy with a run. Coming alongside the CD Sport car. This is going to be a battle under braking. Tappy around the outside for second place. Jacques Wolf down to third spot. Lawrence Hur leads for DKR. Duncan Tappy in second. And here is our GT3 leader. It is Mikkel Mack again doing the second stint for Lusage Racing. He and Fabian Levan 10 seconds ahead of the opposition just about. Tom Onslacol in second. The SPS Automotive Performance Mercedes. And that is a big gap with 16 and a half minutes remaining. Beachley in AMR in third with Ross Gunn, ahead of the Ferraris of Giacomo Piccini and Maurizio Mediani. RLRM Sport Car, the number 14 machine, Mark Mayo, loops into a spin, hits nothing, torches the tyres as he power turns, heading in the right direction, and three goes one of the inter Europol cars. Here is Tom Onslow Cole in the Mercedes. Tom started race one, Valentin Pierberg started race two, and so Tom will finish it off. Trying to close down Mikkel Mack. Time may be against him. Third place is the beach scene AMR Aston Martin of Ross Gunn, took over from Andrew Howard. Trouble for Nick Adcock. That's the number 60 CD Sport car. Up into the Dunlop curve. Makes an inside move and then just can't quite handle the speed. Yellow flag's out there as he is dragged away to safety. Just got in too hot, too shallow and couldn't quite handle the ensuing tail snap. Battle for fifth place. Cyril Denis with Jan Elache behind him. Elache all over the back of the Graf Racing entry in M Racing's Norma. Along on the outside on the dirty runoff area of this public highway, sweeping up to Indianapolis. And he'll go through before they even get to the braking area after the fast right hander. Jan Elache now set sail after the top four, looking for a podium for M Racing. Six second stop and go penalty for CD Sport. Jack Wolf's day gets worse. They released him too soon. Six seconds shorter than two minutes. He's got to serve those extra six seconds. And the drive through will crucify their hopes. Any chance of a win or a podium, long gone now. Mikkel Mack leading in GT3. Under three minutes left, Lusic racing. With the Beach Dean AMR behind, Tom Onslow Cole has dropped down to third place. Ross Gunn up to second. There's Onslow Cole in the Mercedes. Kessel Racing's Ferrari in fourth. Might be a sniff of a podium for them again. Lawrence Hoare heading down to the chequered flag. DKR's defending champion car, the number three machine, is going to claim its first win of the season at the most famous racetrack of them all, at the Le Mans circuit. They win the second Rose to Le Mans race. GC3 victory will go to Mikkel Mack. He brings the Ferrari to the line. Lusic do the double in Rhodes to Le Mans. Back to back wins. Beach Dean in second. SPS will finish in third. Fabian Laverne there, Mikkel Mack's teammate, absolutely thrilled with that. And so he should be. One win at Le Mans is one thing, two. Fantastic. First win of the season for DKR, Lannan in second, Graf the number 39 car, day one winners in third. And 14th overall for our GT3 winners, Lusic Racing. The car was perfect, the stint was perfect, we are so happy to win at Le Mans, it's the first win of the season, so it's just amazing to win there in Le Mans. Victory there for Francois Kierman and Laurence Hur. Race 1 winners, Adrian Sheila and Nicolas Schatz take third, Michael Benham and Duncan Tappy in second, behind the number 3 DKR engineering car. Fourth and second in Road to Le Mans, Lana Racing hold the lead by eight points from DKR. Graf with a great weekend, move up to fourth with the 39 car.
amazing. It has been a fantastic weekend for us. Uh, Thursday we got the win. Today we got the win again. Uh, it was very close in the end. I'm really, really happy and for the championship it's perfect. Maybe we will see each other down here for the 24 hours next year. Fabian Laverne and Mikkel Mack, two wins for Lusic Racing. Andrew Howard Roskan in second for Beach Dean. Valentin Pierberg and Tom Onslow Cole third for SPS. And the stellar season continues, a 17-point advantage now for Lusic, ahead of the eight Kessel car, Spirit of Race and Beach Dean. It's been a weekend to remember at Le Mans for all our teams and drivers. Next time out, we visit Barcelona in Spain for round four. We will see you there.